What's up Gunpla Models? This is Strider Prime bringing you another edition of Gundam Models. It is Sunday, January 25th, 2010. Giving you my review and updates on everything Gundam and model building. I'm currently still building um, White Base, which I'm hoping to get it done within a week or so, if I ever have time. But I should be done soon. I'm ju I just finishing the doing my, you know, adding the finishing touches to the kit, and I hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Uh, but I probably, you guys are probably wondering why I have some uh, model kits in front of me that's not Gundam related. Well, I'm trying to decide what I should build next, and I'm not here to ask you guys why. I'll tell you in a minute. I'm, I'm probably going to probably build everything you see here. The reason why is in April, Mosquito Con is going to be held at Wayne, New Jersey, part of the IP, um, part of the IPMS uh, uh, group that does um, model building, and they do um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, competition. I am planning to attend that show like I did last year. When I tried to, uh, when I entered Zaku to Char, uh, Char's uh, mobile suit, of course, you know, I tried to uh, see if I can win the uh, science fiction section, but uh, I was beat out by some robot called R2D2. Anyway, I, I don't know if that was true. I don't, I, I'm just guessing it right now. I, I can't remember what happened, but it was a. I was impressed with the show. I liked it. It was my first try in a long time. Actually, first time ever. Excuse me. So, I wanted to give it a try this year. I'm not going to do any Gundam models for this show. I want to try something, you know, totally different. <clears throat> I don't know if I should build uh, the armored vehicle or, a, you know, a 172nd plane. This um, Revell Super Hornet has been catching my eye lately. I got this at a good price. Um, so I may be thinking of building that guy. Just a straight build. Um, painted really good. This kit has been... Uh, I've been looking at it for quite some time. This is a command ship. Uh, it doesn't come with a helicopter, which was a surprise, but it's a basic kit to build. I have some other kits that I was thinking of building. As a matter of fact, there was one Gundam ship that I wanted to build, but I'm not too sure if I'm going to build it or not. Uh, I have some armor. I have a uh, another aircraft that's at 148 scale. Pretty much, I'm kind of debating on what I should build. I'm not going to buy no kits now. I have a ton of kits, and I want to just get through these. So... So I wanted to show you what I'm planning to do. I'll do a little progress report on what, you know, how far I've uh, gone with the kits, so you understand what I'm doing. If I if if I have if I decide to film me building a glued model, then I will. But I'll just do like a, you know just a quick vid, something you guys can see. Anyway. In uh, the news with Gundam, I've uh, I've noticed that we're starting to see these uh, these great Gundam kits that's coming out soon. First of all, uh, Gundam Unicorn is coming soon. I'm looking at all these uh, neat mobile suits that's coming out. Um, the Master Grade Clear Parts campaign has been interesting to, to watch. So far I haven't seen anybody um, build any kits with the Clear Parts yet. Especially the the, uh, the first set that came out a few weeks ago. Um, I think the only kit that I've seen that was built and shown with Clear Parts happens to be R. Robert 184's kit of the uh, V Gundam. But other than that, I haven't seen anything else. I'm, I'm a bit shocked. I am impressed with the fact that, I'm, that they're making a 148 scale 
Mobile Suit Gundam. Gundam. And I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. That thing's a monster. And this, uh, it, it doesn't have that much parts. It's pretty much an oversized high grade. Maybe I'm saying that incorrectly. It could be a cross between the high grade and the master grade. But looking at it is extremely impressive. I hope you guys get this kit and build this, you know, build this so I can see what it looks like. So, um, that's going to be interesting. Master Grade Asteroid Red Frame is coming out in February. That is an um, amazing kit as well, so I can't wait to see that kit. Uh, and I swore I'm not, I'm not going to buy any more 144th scale, but Gundam Seven Sword G has been uh, catching my eye lately. I, I'm kind of like, don't want to buy no more kits. I'm going to wait until um, the Gundam movie, Double O Gundam. This comes out and see what we we can get. But I did order some kits just before the holidays, and one of them has come in today from my good friends at Hobby Link Japan. So I'm here to open it up and show you what I got. Now bear in mind, it took over maybe four weeks for this kit to be delivered to my house the reason why is it was a pre-order I thought I would get it before the holidays but I guess that wasn't going to be the case and the reason why there was a reason why of the long delay oh they wrapped it well, let me pull this one out as you can see here I got the lightning base, green type. That's cool. All right, you know what? This can't be. I'm gonna knock something over. So give me a second, please, while I pull this out. So you guys saw that I have the green base of the the green lightning base. I also have the blue and the red. So I got all three lightning bases and the one kit that I got that I ordered or I had to wait until it was uh, in, uh, in stock Victory Gundam Verkai I don't know why the kit looks nice excellent pose great detail so why am I not feeling this Master Grade? Why am, am I not interested in building it? Why am I compelled to sell it on eBay and get my money back? I have no idea. I just completely lost interest in this kit. I think the reason why is our Robert Knight 194 uh, review and some other people's review about this kit that made me lose interest. I'll figure it out soon. I, you know what? I bought it. Uh, you know, there's nothing I can do. I, so, oh, well, you know. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not feeling it. However, what I do have that I am feeling it is what I got just a few days ago. Now I just had to clear out my table of uh, of all my kits here, so I can show you what I just got, and that is this: the Gundam GP03 versus New Zeal or Zell, I don't pronounce it, from 0083 Stardust Memories. This kit is at 1/400 scale. It is a big box. It is a limited edition kit. Bandai is not making this kit anymore. It is a discontinued item, and I got it. Retail was eighty nine ninety nine, but obviously, if you would have ordered it on, you know, through Japan or whatever else, you would probably be paying over one hundred and fifty bucks or something like that with the shipping because of the size of this kit. I got it for fifty. 
that was including shipping so I got a great deal so I can't wait to build this not now this will probably be within be within a few months after the uh, show so thanks guys for watching this video and you take care later